disappointing loss. Um, had control, lost control, and almost fought back and won it. So um, no excuses. We got to win. We did not win. You guys had a chance to win your third straight home game to end the season. Obviously, that didn't happen. Uh, just how disappointing is it to not be able to seal the Um. I think our kids have really fought through a lot of um, obstacles in front of us. Um, and I've pr I'm proud of how they played today. Um, I would have loved to win, state the obvious. Um, but um, you know, we did enough things to put ourselves in position to win the game at the end. That's all I can say. This was the second straight week where the defense caught it up on the final drive. Um, why would you say that is? I'll have to watch the film, to be honest with you. Um, um, you say they almost coughed it up, too, at the end. There was only 45 seconds left to go, and we went 70 yards. So it's, it's um, the game's easier um, than we all think, and, but we have to execute and make those stops, obviously. So when you guys got inside the 10 yard line on the second to last drive, it looked like you guys were just looking to shoot the clock and, and uh, kick a field goal. Was that the case? Um, yeah, I think you're pretty accurate, to be honest with you. We don't have our big-time running backs. It's a tough position to throw the ball. We threw an interception in the first half. If not, we would have been winning down there. And, um, yeah, I was counting on giving them the ball with 230 and us winning by three points. Absolutely. And good decision, a bad decision, I'll live with the decision because it put us on top and played the percentages. Sure. Now, you guys almost pulled off another incredible last second what does it say to your team, especially to your young quarterback, that you know, they're able to compete until the final bell? Right yeah, I mean, I'm proud of um, that last drive. Uh, those things aren't easy. We work on it every week. Um, guys don't, don't understand the value to actually get to the game. Um, and what I'll say is they've executed, they've performed, they've made plays, they got out of bounds when they needed to. We were able to spike the clock with one second left. That is not easy. Um, and, you know, fell inches short of finishing it. Now, the defense was good all day, really, aside from the opening drive, the final drive, <laughs> and then obviously the one breakdown in the third quarter. So what do you have to say about the way they performed all today? You know, I'm an offensive coach. I don't get a chance to watch the defense during the game real much. I'll watch the film. Um, you know, we played with two linebackers that playing out of position. Um, a couple of other injuries, um, no depth. Those kids played every play and on every special team. Um, so I'm, I'm going to commend them for their effort, and I think that's where we'll sit and we'll make the corrections needed to get on the field next week. Sure. And we got to see four quarters of Darren Ryden today. Just what do you think of the way he played? Yeah. Um, you know, it's probably why we picked him as a starter in um, September and hoping that these would get better. and. I think he's – we're a little bit better team surrounding him today maybe, the last two weeks anyway. Um, but, you know, I'm happy how he reacted after the throw and the interception in the first half. Um, and, you know, he did some things on this last drive when he got out of the pocket and threw the ball away and got out of bounds that um, I think are important for a young quarterback to understand that you can still win. You don't have to make the play every time. Had two huge catches today, obviously the touchdown and the one on the, uh, on the last drive. How did it feel to be able to come through in, in those moments and things like that? Well, I feel like I've been playing this game for a long time, so I got that mental preparation just being here for a minute. So in that moment, in that second half, I had to lock in and do what I could for my team, you know, because that first half wasn't the best. But, you know, I had to turn that over real quick just for my teammates for this last moment. Now, obviously, uh, this was your last home. It's definitely bittersweet for sure. I mean, before the game, I came in thinking a lot, I will say. 
But uh, immediately had to realize I had to take care of this moment we had right here because it's bigger than anything. Like like you said, it's the last one. So um, a bittersweet, but I'm, I'm happy to be here with my team. I couldn't like I'm happy to be here with the guys I got right now, like for my last ride. Now, next week is the official last hurrah for you. Uh, just what do you guys have to do as an offense, as a passing offense, to make sure that you guys go out on top? I mean, we just do what we've been doing in practice, man. We've been keeping it all together. You know, we we, we look to pass it, we look to pass it a lot. You know, and um, on this last one, most importantly, we're looking to have fun. If anything, this is our last one, so. We're gonna have fun, but we're gonna do it in, in a great fashion and win as we, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Absolutely. Now, Darren, um, I'm gonna throw this one over to you now. So, today was one of your better performances of the year. Uh, just how did you feel out there today and what went right for you individually? Um, I think started off like I was calm. Um, obviously, the first couple of games, I haven't played football in two years because of COVID, so I had my emotions were all over the place. and. Obviously, as I got the experience and stuff like that, I was able to calm myself down, make the throws that I know I can make. Now, obviously, it hasn't been the easiest of years for you, right, as expected with most young quarterbacks. There's been some growing pains. So how do you feel that you've progressed as a player from week one to now? Uh, from week one to now, I think I, imp I improved a lot. Um, I mean, when it started off, you know, it was rough. I had to keep my head up, you know, tell myself to keep going because I know who I am as a player. And I feel like as the weeks went on, practice went on, and I was getting more experience, I was able to really play like who I am. Sure. Now, after Sam Housen went down, uh, did that motivate you guys to go make a play for him? Yeah, definitely. Since it was his last, that was probably his last game in college football. So, you know, we were all the guys were saying we got to win for him, you know, because he's not going to be able to play college football again. So. That definitely gave us a little spark, I think, and we were able to put some points on the board. Right. Now, the interception, obviously, was one of those, like, textbook mistakes that young quarterbacks make, rolling out your throwing side, coming across your body. But you bounced back to finish the game strong. Just how were you able to, you know, move on from it, put it in the past, and, and finish strong? I was just, I just told myself to forget about it. Like, you can't just, in football, you just can't sit on a bad play. Bad things are going to happen. Like you said, it was a learning mistake. Obviously, I'm young, so I know, like, not to make that mistake again. Um, I just had to move on and just keep my head up and just get that confidence back, make some quick throws, and get it back. So I was, I was fine. Awesome. Now, you almost pulled off another walk-off game winning drive. I just, how are you feeling right now after that? Uh, bittersweet. I mean, wish we could have caught it. Um, I still think Sean is a great receiver. I don't think that play defines him at all. He's 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 the guy. Like he makes a lot of big catches. Um, I think as a team, like that last drive, we all came together, made some great catches. The line blocked pretty well. I was able to scramble a couple of times. So yeah, definitely bittersweet. But.